Hey guys, I wanted to um, talk to y'all for a few minutes, and I'm hoping it's just a few minutes, about the announcement um, that um, we might be partnering with Charlotte's Web, the maker of CBD oils. So I've written up a bunch of things. I'm just going to give you some research um, that I have looked at for a little bit now, and then want to give you a personal opinion on it as well. So I know I've had some of y'all contact me about it already and just thought, you know what, a video is the best way to go about this. And I want to train you guys this week on what this looks like um, coming down the pike. What is CBD oil? What does it do? Tons of questions. Not sure I'm going to have all the answers, but hopefully this week it'll be a little bit clearer. Okay. Disclosure. I'm not making any speculations about what is going to happen with Plexus and CBD oil from Charlotte's Web. As of today, today's May 4th for me, 2019, we have no information from Plexus Corporate other than the fact that one of the founders of a company called Charlotte's Web is going to be speaking at convention. The speaker's name is Joel Stanley, and he's one of seven brothers who founded the CBD oil and company. The men uh, that founded the company are brothers to our very own Jen Hawkins. She's one of our uplines. If you guys have not heard of her name or you don't really know how she's related to us, I think I'm maybe her level six or something. Secondly, I'm hoping this video is going to provide um, information that I've researched. I already said that. I'm not going to provide an answer to every single question you have, but um, hopefully over this next week, lots of answers to some of the questions. Um, and hopefully this video is going to better educate you on what exactly CBD oil is, what it can do for you, and the company behind it. All right, so let's talk fact versus fiction for a second. Um, because I know I had the wrong impression of CBD oil, and I'll talk about that a little later towards the end of the video. Fact, there are two active ingredients in marijuana and hemp. Those active ingredients are called THC and CBD. You guys can look up what those stand for. I'm just trying to make this a quicker video by giving the um, abbreviated version of it. THC is the component in the plant that is psychoactive and gets you high, okay? CBD is the component in the plant that modulates chemical and electrical activity to help quiet the excessive activity in the brain, causing a myriad of issues one of them being um, seizures, all right? Fiction, this is a big one for me because I thought this was true. CBD oil is only made of marijuana. Not true. CBD oil is not medical marijuana. At the beginning when Charlotte's Web, uh, oh, I'm sorry, at the beginning, Charlotte's Web, um, their product was classified as that. So if you're looking at stuff, I think the CNN documentary even calls it medical marijuana. Once it was classified as that, it is no longer classified as that, okay? It's been reclassified as hemp, which you can go into Whole Foods store, I'm assuming Trader Joe's as well, and you can find hemp, okay? CBD oil contains 21% of the CBD component and less than 1% of the THC. It's actually like 0.3% of the THC, all right? It took years of crossbreeding to breed down that THC because the brothers wanted the medical component of it um, and not the psychoactive aspect of it. Why do we need CBD oil? Okay, so we've discussed the fact that it's not going to make you um, kind of go out of your mind. It's not psychoactive. You're not going to get high off of this. Why is everybody talking about it? I went into my holistic doctor um, with my newborn just the other day. He has a whole row set up of CBD oils. He's a believer. I walk in, he's got Christian stuff everywhere. Um, the TV station had on Christian speakers and preachers, and so he had CBD oil, CBD oil everywhere. I went into my chiropractor's office two weeks ago when the baby was born, got him adjusted, and she has CBD oil stuff everywhere. So it's kind of um, it's kind of the new thing. Gut health was kind of the new thing, and now we're kind of talking about CBD oil. Um, why do we need this? Every single person, okay, not just people who've smoked weed in the past, <laughs> every single person has something called an endocannabinoid system in your body, all right? Now, this system was discovered in the 90s. I've seen different um, dates given on that, 92, 94, so I'm just going to say the early 90s. Um, so if you didn't hear about this biological system growing up in school, it's because it's more relatively new. So let's talk about what this system actually does in our bodies. Um, this was kind of a fascinating study for me. I really enjoyed um, learning more about it. So 
Um, first, let's just mention homeostasis. Some of these words are coming back from your biology class, right? Homeostasis is your body's effort to keep everything operating correctly. Um, I'm going to put the links for where I found all of this information in the comments of this video. So if you're like, where did she get all this? I'm going to share it with you, okay? Um, it works to keep your internal environment inside stable and optimal no matter what's happening in the environment outside of you guys, okay? So I'm going to give you an illustration of kind of what that looks like. You guys, I took this all from a website, but I love the way they explain it. It just makes a lot of sense. So let's think of this system as the electrical panel in your car, okay? So the endocannabinoid system, think of it like the electrical panel in your car. The gauges tell you something is not operating correctly, okay? You're going to have a light flash on. When something isn't operating in the right range, like your temperature's too high, your heart's beating too fast, maybe your hormone levels are off, your body is going to activate the endocannabinoid system to regulate it. If you're really hot and you begin to sweat, it's your endocannabinoid system working to cool you down, right? Kind of cool. Your endocannabinoid system does this using two receptors, okay? And from my research, we only know about two receptors. There's possibility that there's more, but I'm going to tell you what we know now. Um, CB, CB1 controls your central nervous system. CB2 controls the nerves in your extremities, digestive system, and specialized cells in your immune system. We've had a fun science day already, haven't we? Okay, your endocannabinoid system can help regulate your appetite, your digestion, your immune function, inflammation, including neuroinflammation, uh, your mood, your sleep, your reproduction and fertility, motor control, temperature regulation, memory pain. It's a lot of stuff, right? So hearing all of that, how does, I guess, uh, your next question is, well, how does the endocannabinoid system like how does it, why does it need the oil to help it? Well, just like poor gut health can wreck your, the rest of your body, your endocannabinoid system can also be wrecked um, just by things that are happening to you, things that you eat that are not good for you, et cetera. Um, so because we have something like ProBio that can help the gut and we're all aware of how great that is, we, we turn to something for from the plants as well to help the endocannabinoid system just continue to function correctly or to start functioning correctly again. Um, we take phytocannabinoids to help the endocannabinoid system, okay? If you remember science, phyto is from a plant, so we take plants to help our endocannabinoid system. CBD is one of the phytocannabinoids. CBD can go directly into your endo system and like a key, it can unlock that system that is not working properly. Um, so CBD is kind of a supplement like vitamin C. It's, it's very benign, but it can be very important for a system that for years we didn't even know we had. I'm hoping that makes sense. That made a lot of sense to me. Um, really enjoyed the study of that. I know you still have got questions. I'm hoping this week on our team page helps with that. Um, I'm going to continue to give you more information as I hear about it from corporate or from other people with Plexus who are much more skilled and well-versed at this stuff than I am. I want to close with the fact um, that most of you know I'm a conservative Christian um, and I want to give you a personal opinion about what I think about the CBD oil. That might have been why you are watching this video in the first place, um, just to hear my opinion on it. Uh, when I heard this was coming out with Plexus, I was really skeptical. My husband and I talked about it. Now, we still do not know what's coming out. It just, when I saw that we were having a speaker from this company come speak, obviously we start thinking something's coming down the pipeline. Um, I was really skeptical and so was my husband and um, he even said, you know, what, Courtney, you've had a great five years of Plexus and maybe this is just the time that um, God had for us and we need to be done now. And I was like, well, let me just educate myself on it and see what it is, which is what I'm hoping this video has done for you. And it's maybe even been a jumping point for you to uh, do your own research and come up with um, some more answers to questions that you may have. But 
the more that I've un uncovered about CBD oil, especially with Charlotte's Web, um, I feel comfortable with whatever Plexus decides to do in the future um, with a product as long as the THC levels remain below that 1%. Um, and here's how my husband and I came to that conclusion. About 10 times in the Bible, we are told to be sober-minded. Um, that sober-mindedness is one reason why we choose not to drink. I know there's a lot of Christians out there now who choose to drink. That's kind of between you and God. And I, we just, for ourselves, have chosen not to um, because we choose to stay sober-minded. Anything that can mess with my mind and cause me to act or speak in a way that I don't have completely complete control over is something that I choose personally not to use. Um, there is no psychoactive materials in the CBD oil produced by Charlotte's Web. It is legal in all 50 states to use, ship, or sell CBD oil. Okay, so I'm not breaking any laws by using it or selling it. Um, it's also able to be used by anyone. If you watch that amazing CNN documentary where um, they kind of named the whole company after this one little girl who was having about 300 seizures a week, and after using this product, she no longer is having seizures. I think she's seven years seizure free now. Um, but if you've seen that, obviously even children can use it. Um, and she's not the only child that has used it that they have worked with. So ultimately, what I'm saying is, this is a decision you guys have to pray through. Um, is it something that you feel comfortable um, with you and your family using? Is it something you feel comfortable selling? I will say if it's not something you feel comfortable using or selling, that doesn't mean you have to quit Plexus. Um, it just means maybe that's not something you actively promote. Um, that's not a testimony that you share on your page. If it is something you feel comfortable with, more power to you. Um, I do not want to be the, um, I guess, deciding factor for you and your family on what y'all are comfortable with. Um, so I'm leaving that up to you as the individual, as families. Um, that's just my take on why we are going to continue with Plexus, why we love Plexus, and why we feel comfortable um, with whatever is coming down the pike as long as it stays at that 1% um, or less of the THC. So. I'm hoping that helps, guys. I look forward to a great week um, sharing more information as, um, as the week goes on. Have a great day.